Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand what auto swap is on Azure App Services. And before going forward, I believe you have a good understanding on deployment slots. And if you haven't, please go ahead and review that. Um, so let's get started on uh, auto swap. Auto swap addresses the problem of cold starts when you work with your app services. I'm sure if you have worked with app services, you have encountered this issue when you publish something. Uh, it doesn't work. I mean, it will start working after like a few seconds. And that is the problem that Autoswap solves. So let me show you what that problem is. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this app service on Azure. Let me do that now. Now let me go to my Azure portal and click refresh here. And as you can see, I have the resource group and also I have the application as well. Now let me click on the this URL here so that you will see the application running. And I'm going to put that like this. And I'm going to open my Visual Studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure auto reload on this tab so that this will reload every 10 seconds. All right, I have configured auto reload for this tab and I have made it not 10 seconds, but five seconds. As you can see, it is reloading every five seconds. Now let me go to my Visual Studio and right click here and click publish. And I'm going to add a publish profile. And I'm going to publish this application that I have here to this app service. All right, let me click publish now. As you can see in the middle of the publishing, you're getting the message site under construction. And this is an issue if you have a heavy load for your web application. And this is the problem that Autoswap solves. All right, we are getting my pub published application now. Now let me go to my Azure portal and configure Autoswap for my web application. I'm going into deployment slots here. As you can see, I have only my production slot here and I'm going to click add slot and I'm going to name it staging. We call it staging and click add. Now let me click on this uh, deployment slot that we have just created. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to configure Autoswap for this staging slot. For that, what I have to do is I'm going into configuration section. And um, when you are here, you will find this general settings tab. And if you scroll down a bit, you will find auto swap configuration. And you can enable it like this and you will see the deployment slots of your app service here. In this case, I only have my production slots. So I'm going to keep this as it is. And I'm going to click save like this. All right, as you can see, I have just updated my auto swap setting on my staging slot. So now I'm going back to my production app like this, and I'm going to open it on the, uh, on, the on the right. And I'm going back to my Visual Studio, and I'm going to change this app a little bit. So let me call it um, auto swap, and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to publish this not to my production application. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this to my staging slot. For that, I'm going to create a new publish profile and then I'm going to select my staging slot like this. I'm ready to publish. I'm publishing it now. As you can see, we are not getting the message of site under construction because we are not publishing to our production application. Once this application is ready in the staging slot, it will automatically swap that staging slot to production slot. So basically the problem that you should understand this solve is the call start issue. As you can see, in few seconds, we are getting the message auto swap. And now you know what auto swap is and how to configure that on Azure. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to be updated with my future videos, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.